Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and today we are going to be talking about bingeable series that are on Kindle Unlimited. I love Kindle Unlimited. It is a godsend when it comes to reading books like in a series, um, especially when you're like on a full marathon binge and you just want to keep reading books. It really like has facilitated so much of my quick fast reading. If you don't know, Kindle Unlimited is a service through Amazon where you pay a monthly subscription and you can read and download as many books as you want um, in a month that are on the Kindle Unlimited subscription. You're only able to have 20 in your library at a time, but you can return and download new ones as many as you want throughout the month. There's like no cap on it. Um, and it allows me to read so much more. And I just wanted to share some series that are like so great and fun to binge on Kindle Unlimited. I think they're all really, really fun. I really enjoyed my time reading all of these series and almost all of them are finished series. There's one that I recently learned is not an actual finish, finished series. I thought it was finished, but apparently it isn't. Um, and I'll mention that one when I get to it. But we're just going to get right into the series because I do have uh, quite a few to share with you. But like I said, they're all finished, fun, quick, easy, bingeable series that are on Kindle Unlimited. So the first one that I have is one that I read recently and that is the Mindfuck series by St. Abbey. This is a series of I think there's five books in the series and they are all not quite novella length but not quite full length. They're all very short book length. They're like 100 pages, 150 pages. I think one of them's like 200 pages each and they're all in Kindle Unlimited and they are so fucking addictive. It is impossible not to binge them. I swear if you are able to just read like one at a time, you deserve a medal because I sure as hell couldn't. I was like, oh, I'm going to start the first one. All of a sudden, two days later, I had finished the whole series. I was shocked. I loved the series. It is incredibly dark though, so if that's not your thing, there will be others on this list that are not dark, but if you do like dark romance, highly highly recommend the mindfuck series. So basically the premise of this series is that there's this heroine um, and her name is Lana and she is a serial killer. She is killing men who have wronged her. You throughout the series you kind of learn about her past and learn what these men have done to her and if you're like me you're on her side like fuck those men. Um, but she is a serial killer. And she ends up meeting this guy and starting a relationship with him and she finds out that this guy is an FBI agent. He is a, a criminal profiler specializing in serial killers and her kills have come across his desk and so he is investigating the deaths that she has caused and he has no idea that his girlfriend is the killer that he's after and it is so interesting there are so many twists so many turns I was so intrigued going through this it like I said is incredibly incredibly dark her past is horrible like what has happened to her is just gut-wrenching and like it really is a full mindfuck of like what in the hell is happening how is she doing this she's so cool and I fucking loved this series and it is so bingeable because each a book ends on a cliffhanger you do not get like the actual like ending of the story with all the answers that you need until the last book and so you're like I need it I need to read the next one I need to read the next one I need to read the next one and it's like impossible not to binge and it's so freaking good and all of them are on Kindle Unlimited so you can just download them one after the other and just fully fly through the series. The next series that I have is one that is a lot less dark but it still has a suspense element to it and that is the Tattered and Torn series by Katherine Cowles. This is, like I said, romantic suspense. They are all romances that follow a family and each book has its own like suspense element in it although most of the suspense is like slightly related to each other um but you could read them out of order I would still recommend reading them in the order it's just you get more of the following of the story that way but you're totally able to read them out of order but basically what the each like I said each book works as a standalone so they each have a different plot um but the first one is about a hero who is the sheriff of a small town and 
when he was younger, his sister was kidnapped. And he is, uh, and his whole family are incredibly shook by this. They are um, traumatized and it, there's just a lot that has befallen their family due to the fact that their, uh, the youngest daughter was kidnapped when she was younger. And so this series, each book follows one of the family members from that family where the daughter was kidnapped. And the heroine in book one is actually the daughter of the man who kidnapped the uh, girl. And she is the one that turned her father in. Her family and her father were part of this uh, community of like preppers. They were very cult-like and her family is incredibly mad at her and they basically like reject her for turning her father in but then the actual small town also rejects her for being related to the man who kidnapped uh, the girl and so she's kind of like kind of out of place for her whole life and she finally decides enough is enough and she takes over the land that she lived in when she was younger, the land where her father had held uh, the girl when he had kidnapped her. And so she moves back to her small town, she takes over this land, and the family, um, the hero, the brother of the girl who got kidnapped, is incredibly upset with her being back. He's like, we don't want you here, we don't want this memory of what happened, we have tried to move past it and you are coming and bringing up all these memories back and he is so mad at her. And so it is like a slight enemies to lovers dynamic. Um, she's like, I, I deserve to be here, I'm fine, I'm allowed to be here and he is, as the sheriff of the town, is uh, very upset and he um just comes and he just uh incredibly um shares his displeasure of her being there but they end up forming a relationship and falling in love and it, they over uh work past both of their traumas of what happened when they were younger and she the uh heroine is very much welcomed into his family and it's so so sweet and i really really loved it um and the whole series is like i said follows his family so the second one follows his, one of his sisters who um, has a brother's best friend single dad romance I think is what it is and then book three is a brother who has a um, forced proximity protective romance um, and then book four is a chronic pain rep um, celebrity hero romance and then book five sorry I'm looking at my shelf book five is the girl who was kidnapped story um and I really love the series and I think it's really fun um I was lucky and so most of them were already out when I read them and so I fully read the first like four that were out um when I first read this series because they were just so easy to just keep going you just really really love the series and, and I had such a fun time and I think all of Catherine Cowell's books are pretty bingeable and I would highly recommend this series. The next one that I have to recommend is another small town series but this one is less romantic suspense and more just like fun small town and that is the Calamity Montana series by Debney Perry. I actually think this is a really underrated series by Debney Perry. It's not one that you hear talked about a lot but this is actually probably my favorite Debney Perry series after the Edens series um, and it is so freaking good and fun. So basically there's this town called Calamity and it's in Montana just like all of other Debney Perry's other towns um, but it's in Montana it's called Calamity and each book follows a person who's living in Calamity and so the first one is called The Bribe and it is a celebrity heroine who runs away from uh, being a singer and she just needs time to escape and so she moves to the small town and she ends up having a relationship with the sheriff of the town and that one is actually a slightly suspense in that one um, but that's the only one that's like suspenseful. The second one is called The Bluff and that one is about a 
marriage of convenience single dad romance um he's trying to get custody of his daughter and she agrees to marry him in order to help him with that book three is my favorite it's called the brazen you have a billionaire hero with a badass heroine heroine named kerrigan who i love and it's really really good and i would highly highly recommend that one is my favorite like i said out of the series um then book four is called the bully and that one is a slight bully romance, but he bullied her when they were in high school and this romance takes place when they're older and he, you find out like why he bullied her and like why he was like that. And they have like a friends with benefits type arrangement, but they hate each other. So it's like enemies to lovers, but friends with benefits. It's really interesting. Um, and I really liked getting like his perspective as the bully for like why, why he did certain things and why, sh what she thought versus what he thought. Um, and then the next one after that, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll have a picture. And that one is a teacher um, whose student is suing her and the teacher has a romance with the lawyer who agrees to help the student out. Um, and it's a really fun one, that one. And this is actually the series that is not finished. Um, there is, I think, one or two books coming out in the series left and I didn't realize that. I thought the series was over um, but apparently there's The Brood coming out like later this year so I loved this series. I fully binged them. I think they are such fun easy romances and I would just like highly recommend them. If you like Small Town each one has very different tropes in it and they slightly interconnect but you could totally read them as standalones and I just had a great ass time reading them. The next one is another series that I fully fully binged and it is actually a paranormal or like fantasy series and that is the Bonds That Tie series by Jay Bree. This is a why choose romance series so multiple heroes with one heroine and like I said it is fantasy. Um, the heroine, heroine's name is Oleander and she is a uh, part of this world where people have these bonds which are sort of like fated mates um, and but you're able to do like a blood test and find out who your bonds are going to be but when she's younger she's in danger and so she actually runs away from her bonds and book one is them finding her, bringing her back and then sort of being pissed off at the fact that she ran away because they don't know why she ran away um, and they think that she has no powers but she actually has powers like secretly she's just hiding them from everyone and she has like five bonds and it's just such a freaking addictive series it was so fucking fun to read them I read the first one and I was like I'm just gonna try it out and see because it was a new to me author at the time and I was like I'm just gonna try out the first one and see and then all of a sudden I had read like the first four books in the series and I was like okay then um it's just such such a fun series and I love it the next one that I have is the Dirty Martini Running Club series by Claire Kingsley this is just a contemporary series and it follows a group of friends and they are all girlfriends and they are a part of this club called the Dirty Martini Running Club. So basically they all get together and go jogging together and then after they go jogging they go to the bar and get martinis and they chat and like gossip over, martini, um, over martinis and they're all best friends and they just do this. And so each book follows a different friend in this club basically. The first one is my favorite. It is probably the best fake dating romance that I've read. Um, that's a bold statement but it is one of my favorite fake dating romances and it's a billionaire hero and she's his assistant and he basically meets a fake girlfriend. He lies to his ex-girlfriend and his father saying that he has a girlfriend and he calls up his assistant and is like I need you to get to this gala right now and she shows up and he's like this is my girlfriend and she's like what the fuck but then they end up having to move in together in order to prove that they are dating and it is so fucking good. I loved it so much highly recommend. The second one is sort of enemies to lovers. Um, they're competing scientists and it's a little bit like nerdy, a little bit geeky and very fun. Um, the third one, uh, I'm pretty sure number three is another billionaire hero with a girl he knew from childhood and they have a marriage, uh, like accidental marriage in Vegas. 
situation. Um, and then book four is a neighbor's romance with a single dad and it's so good. Um, so book one is my favorite and then probably book four is my second favorite but the whole series is so fun. My favorite thing about this series is definitely like the girl friendships, female friendships. They're so close to, with each other and so there for each other and I just love it and it's just such a fun series. Next one that I have is I think going to be the last one because this video is getting a little long. I've talked too much. Um, and that is the Brutal Birth Rate series by Sophie Lark. I full on binge this series. I This is a mafia series so it's another one for those like darker uh, romance fans. But I would recommend this to somebody who wanted to try out dark romance or try out mafia romance because it is on the like lighter side of mafia on the lighter side of dark. It's not overly dark. Um, the but it is a mafia series so it is following three two different it's following two different mafia families um who are intermingling basically um and so in book one the italian mafia and the irish mafia um they unite their families and decide to have an arranged marriage between their the son of one family and the daughter of another family and they hate each other the kids do not want to get married um but they end up falling in love it is great enemies to lovers arranged marriage so fucking good um and then the rest of the books are all following the siblings of the two families so the irish son had two sisters and so um both of them get books and then the uh brothers of the heroine from book one all get books and it's so freaking good and i don't want to say too much about each of the books because there are slight like spoilers in it i would really recommend reading this series in order book five broken vow and book two stolen air are my favorites and but each book is so freaking good. They each have really amazing tropes. There's an arranged marriage. There's a bodyguard romance. There's a second chance romance. Um, there is a there's a captor captive romance. It's, there's just so many good things in this, and it's so addictive and amazing. And Sophie Lark truly wrote like amazing mafia romance in this and I fucking love them. The romances, the spice, they're all really really amazing. So I would highly recommend them if you want something super bingeable on KU and just like easy to read. Um, but that's the last one that I'm gonna recommend. So that's gonna be it for this video. <laughs> like I said, I talk too much. It's getting a little long. Um, but that's gonna be it for this video. So I gave you some good recommendations. Uh, please let me know down in the comments below what your favorite series to binge on KU are. I'm always looking for new recommendations, but that's going to be it for this video. So like it, subscribe, stick around, see more content from me. Um, but I hope you have the best day.